boilers and thermal liquid heater generate heat for use in other operations. They differ in the fluid medium used to transfer this heat. The industrial boiler shown is used for dry cleaning. Steam boilers heat water to produce steam, which is then used to generate energy or heat for other processes. Water is converted to steam in the boiler. This steam travels through the heating apparatus, which can be any piece of equipment that requires steam for operation. The cooled steam is then condensed into water that returns to the boiler to start the cycle again. There are three main types of steam boilers, fire tube, water tube and cast iron. In fire tube boilers the combustion gases travel within the tubes to heat the surrounding water. In water tube boilers, the water travels inside the tubes. Cast iron boilers are similar to water tube boilers, but the water is contained in cast iron sections instead of in tubes. All steam boilers have four independent systems. The feed water system supplies water to the boilers, the fuel system transports the fuel, the draft system controls airflow for fuel combustion, and the steam system collects and controls the produced steam. The most commonly used fuels are coal, natural gas and oil. Most fire tube boilers are portable and are used in oil fields, saw mills, and at construction sites to generate heat or power. Water tube and cast iron boilers may be solid fuel fired, or they may operate on standard liquid and gas fuels. The water tube boiler at right operates on gas fuel, and is part of a cogeneration plant, where heat from the fuel is simultaneously converted into electrical and thermal energy. Water and fuel, the only two feed for this type of boiler, are abundant and inexpensive. It can handle large capacities and high pressure. But it corrodes during shutdown periods and water must be treated to prevent buildup. There is always some heat loss. Water heat 